اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Validating Higher Order Constructs In this session, we are going to talk about how to validate higher order constructs. Before we do that, let's quickly recap as to what we are doing. Now here is the model that we want to test. Now as part of step 1, we are assessing our measurement model. Now based on measurement model, since we've got higher order constructs and lower order constructs here, these six are your lower order constructs and this internal marketing is higher order construct with these three and these four lower order constructs. Now the first step is you assess all the lower order constructs and this is what we did here. We designed this model with all lower order constructs. No matter if they had a higher order construct or not, all lower order constructs were part of this analysis. PLS some algorithm was run and factor loadings, reliability and validity was assessed. This was done in previous sessions. The video will be shared in the description. Now moving on, since we've got two higher order constructs here, internal marketing and internal service quality. Now once lower order constructs are validated, the next step is to validate the higher order constructs. Now in this case, I'm taking internal marketing as reflective formative and internal service quality as reflective reflective higher order construct. Now what do we mean by reflective formative and reflective reflective and what is a higher order construct? Now we did discuss the difference between reflective formative constructs in the last session but we did not discuss them at higher level. In this session we are going to talk about higher order constructs and how do we validate reflective, reflective, higher order construct. Validating higher order constructs. Now, the concept of hierarchical component model or higher order constructs. Higher order constructs, also known as hierarchical component models in context of PLS-SCM, provide a framework for researchers to model a construct on one or more abstract dimension, that is, your higher order construct. And it's more concrete sub-dimension. So, in higher order construct, you've got a construct at the second level or at a higher level. And then that construct has got two, three, four or whatever number of dimensions. In this study, we've got internal marketing that is a higher order construct with these three dimensions. And each dimension is measured using multiple indicators. Now, this is a lower order construct. This construct is directly measured using different indicators. Same is for this, same as for this, same as for this, and same is for this. But this construct here is a higher order construct with these dimensions and each dimension is measured using different indicators. Same is the case with internal service quality. Moving on. HCM refers to more general construct that is measured at a higher level of abstraction while simultaneously assessing several sub-components that is dimension as is the case with internal service quality and internal marketing in this example. Hence, by specifying lower order construct, HCM can cover concrete traits of more general conceptual variable of interest. Moving on, these are the different types of higher order construct. Now in this example, I've got reflective reflective and reflective formative. Now what is reflective reflective? Now we did assess or understand the reflective construct in the last session. And the arrows are pointing towards the indicators from this latent variable, this latent variable, and this latent variable. But have a look at this higher order construct. Now these three lower order constructs are reflected in this higher order construct. And the arrows are pointing towards the lower order constructs. Now this is a reflective here and reflective here, just as internal service quality in this case. The properties that we identify for reflective constructs in the last session still stand at a higher level. Now these lower order constructs in this case are interchangeable. And even if you remove one of them, your, still, your construct will still be there. It won't lose its identity. Reflective formative. Now at the first level they are reflective, that is the arrows are pointing towards the indicators. At the higher level they are formative because these lower order constructs form the higher order construct. In this case, internal marketing. 
Now vision development rewards. Vision is reflective at lower level, De development is reflective at lower level and rewards is reflective at lower level. Now these three constructs form higher order construct of internal marketing. If you remove any one of them, then there is no concept of internal marketing. In this case, we have got two constructs, internal service quality, reflective reflective, that is reflective at the first order and reflective at the second level. Reflective formative, that is reflective at the lower level and formative at the higher level with the arrows pointing towards the construct. In this particular session, I'm going to guide you on how to validate a reflective reflective construct, that is your internal service quality. The procedure is the same as we followed for reflective lower order construct. The procedure doesn't change. You have to assess the reliability and validity. However, for higher order construct, we are going to use disjoint two stage approach. Now, once you have validated the lower order constructs, we are going to generate scores for lower order constructs. There are other approaches like embedded two stage approach. However, the preferred and most used is disjoint two stage approach. And the steps are step one, you have to generate latent variable scores and you have to copy them to a data set. That is your data set that you are using in your study. Then import that data set and then your LOCs will now serve as indicators for higher order construct. How? Now let's have a look. Here is our model. Now the first step, we have to generate latent variable score. Now, each of these dimension of internal service quality is measured using these number of indicators here. Now, these are actually the indicators of internal service quality, reliability, assurance, empathy and responsiveness. Now, these are the indicators of internal service quality as mentioned in the model here. So in the internal service quality has got these indicators. But if we assess the construct at lower level, this construct is measured using three or four indicators. So I need to change these scores that is measured using multiple items into a single score so that they can serve as indicators like this here. So how do we do this? To do so, we have to go to reports. If you haven't run the model yet, just go to run, go to calculate, PLS algorithm, all good, start, and your results are here. Now let's go to reports and we need our latent variable score. Report, and where is your latent variable score? If you look at final results here, this is your latent variable scores. Just click scores and here it is. Now you can copy it, export to CSV, it's copied. Now, where is your data file? It's always a good idea to put it in the same data file. So here is my data file. Now I'll put it at the end here. Have a look here. You can delete this case ID. Now it's the same number here, 341 in total. Here it is 340 because it starts with zero. So 341 rows, the same number of respondent that you had in your original data. Now what happens is your score for your lower order construct that is measured using multiple indicators is transformed into a single item because now these items are measuring here reliability, assurance, empathy, empathy and responsiveness. Now previously at the lower order level, reliability was measured using four or five items. Now those five or four or five items now are combined into a single latent variable score. Now these four will serve as indicators for the higher order construct. Let's save it and now let's import it again. Now go back, back. Yes, we want to save it. Right click, import data file. So it's saved. Let's close it. Here it is. Import. Go back and here it is, data one. Now let's look at our measurement model again. Now we've got multiple data sets. So you have to select the data set that you want and have a look here. Now vision that was previously like this. Now these four indicators are used to generate your latent variable scores. 
and here is the latent variable score for each of these factors or dimensions. Now since internal service quality is measured using these four dimensions and now these four dimensions will serve as indicators for internal service quality that is measured at the higher level. How to do this? Let's go back. Yes. And let's duplicate it. Copy resource and right click paste resource. So let's say it's the copy of measurement model. And let's say it is reflective for internal service quality. Now save, open it. And now I do not need these. Yeah. Yeah, all of this is deleted. Now let's add reliability, assurance, empathy, and responsiveness. All of them selected and dropped here. And this is your internal service quality. Press enter. Now look at this. The four indicators for internal service quality as in the model here. And you got these indicators by generating latent variable score. But look at the arrows pointing towards the indicator. So this is reflective, reflective. Now what about these? This is also a harder, higher order construct. So vision, development and rewards make up internal marketing, but this is reflective formative. We are going to discuss how to validate a reflective formative scale in coming videos. Now, since it's red, you cannot run the model. So let's link it. So internal service quality is linked to the dependent variable and it is linked to your IV as well. Now that your model is complete, this is reflective reflective. All other lower order constructs will remain the same. This is called disjoint two stage approach because you do not use the latent variable score for the other latent construct. You use them at indicator level. So you add the indicators for each of the construct just as we have done. Just we are going to use the latent variable score for these sub dimensions of internal service quality. Why? Because internal service quality is reflective, reflective higher order construct. And now we are assessing internal service quality at a higher level because we are assessing the validity or the reliability that is measurement model assessment for reflective, reflective higher order construct. Now again, calculate PLS algorithm start. Now, here is your output. This is your graphic output. If you look here, let me increase the size a bit here. Look at this. R square looks good. Alpha looks good. Reliability looks good. AVE looks really good. Now look at the report. Now look at the outer loadings first for your construct here. Look at the outer loadings. All good. Let's improve the zoom here. All good. Now look at the reliability and validity. Look at the internal service quality. All good. Yes. Now you can similarly look at your discriminant validity. Again, for internal service quality, it's all good. Same is the case for Fondant and Laka. All good. This one is higher and all these are low. So within construct variance, for internal service quality is higher than its shared variance. Now you see, we do not change the way we assess the reflective, reflective higher order construct. We assess it the same way we did it for lower order reflective constructs. And we assess the same output. We assess this, the outer loadings, we assess the reliability, we assess the validity. Just as we did for the lower order constructs, you do it for the higher order reflective, reflective construct as well. I hope this session would have helped you understand the disjoint two-stage approach that we can use to assess the measurement model that is reflective, reflective, higher order construct. Thank you very much.